guys, it's Heather. Here we are, part four, yay. And part five is on its way. Don't judge. I hear you judging, don't judge me. Um, we're just unboxing, I'm just showing you what I got. Well, and then five, five like I said, five's on its way. Um, I'm just gonna unbox everything and then once everything's all unboxed then we're gonna grab like 15 things or something. And then we're gonna put things to the test. Um, if it's like a kitchen item, we're gonna go use it in the kitchen. We're gonna wash it a few times. We're gonna see if it works. I bought a rolling cart. We're gonna put that together to see how well that worked. Um, I wanna even say I bought a kite you know stuff like that we're gonna put it to the test My daughter once bought herself a shirt um, put it in the dryer it shrunk to toddler size like a like a like a 3t no joke anyway all right you guys let's just go I swear to God you guys Um, bought a whole variety of things. You guys gotta go check out part three that we just did. Like, I bought this stack of money. Like, how fun is that? <laughs> go check out my other parts. I bought some good stuff. Um, all right, so what's this? All right, so the drying rack for your makeup brushes. I'm noticing a lot of things that I'm finding on Timu. It's like, hey, I saw that on Amazon. I saw that on Amazon. Like, are there people that are just buying Timu and Shein items and then just reselling them on Amazon? I bet you a hundred bucks they are. So this is one of those racks. We've all seen it. I wanted to get black, but black was out of stock. I kept waiting for black to come back into stock. And then when it would, it wouldn't be the size that I wanted and I wanted this size. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory putting the thing together, right? Pretty simple, and then it take you can take it apart and store it flat. But you just stick your brushes upside down after you wash them to dry them. Don't ever be one of those people. I've seen people that are wash drying their brushes like this. Like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Do it like this. Okay, do it like that. You don't want any moisture getting up into this thing. You're gonna have a lot of fun things growing up in there, okay? Don't do that. But, okay, so we'll, we'll try that out. We'll see how well it works. I can tell you right now, this seems decent. Okay, why did I buy this? I really don't know. I am a giant toddler. That might have something to do with it. But I got this little drink thing. Comes with a cute little cup. Good little. And you just fill it up with water, right? Okay. So what I see people doing, I will I won't do it. I just wanted to try it to see if it would work. But people are filling this up. You can fill it up with like a toner. You could fill it up with like your makeup remover, like your micellar water. Don't be that person that tries to go like that. Just flip it up like this. I saw someone online struggling with that and I was like, really? Really, is that what we're doing? I feel like I need to be supervised when I'm shopping Timu, having, cause you know, you got little, you know, little angels sitting on your shoulder. Mine. I don't have one. I don't, I don't know what happened to her. I think mine's more of like a Tinkerbell situation. Oh, what's this? I was excited about this. It's like a, a shelf that sits on like your tabletop. It's made of wood. So I was like, oh, okay. Hey, look at that. You get screws and you get a screwdriver. Way to go, guys. So, um, now is it high quality wood? No, but it's wood. So it's three shelves. I'll put this together when we do our follow-up videos. And I love it with the things that don't take up a lot of space, because literally, like, that's all the space that it takes up. And then it takes your organization up 
to kind of get things off of the table and get it up. Oh, also, if you guys hear any noises, I'm getting really warm in this room and I'm starting to get a headache. It's super cold outside, so I actually just cracked my window, but it's a really, really windy day. So if you hear, like, it's my window that's open. I need some fresh air. I'm actually, like, getting, like, a super bad headache. So I'm trying my best for you guys. I'm trying my best. What is this? This is a seat cover for your car. Just wanted to get one. I wanted to try it out. It's supposed to be like a non-skidding one. So it's got these little rubbery, you know, every little dot is like a little rubber thingy, whatever. Okay, and then you've got these little things to help you hook into something. I don't know what, but okay. So what I liked, which I'm noticing it's not very big, but maybe if your phone's sideways, hold your phone right there. You can put your lipstick, your lip gloss, you know, things you want to reach, maybe like whatever. I saw that little pocket and I was like, well, I like that. And it was just a couple of bucks, like, so I wanted to try it. And then, you know, adding a little extra cushion, it's not very thick, so it's not like it's gonna like raise you up high. Comes with this, what the heck are these? Oh, oh wait a second. Is that what these are for? Like you slide that under your seat and then maybe on the other side so then it doesn't come back through. Is that what that is? Yeah, if you guys know what the heck these things are, please let me know. Like, am I right? Like, is that what that's for? Okay, so we got some cat toys. So I've seen these before, like um, like at the pet store or at Walmart or wherever you can buy your cat toys. And like, once your cat gets a hold of it, sometimes it's like broken by the end of the day anyway. So yeah, it's a silk ribbon. And this one feels more of like, um, like a t-shirt material, like that, just cotton. Cause I'd be interested to see um, how well these last because even the ones that you get at the pet store that you pay 10 to 15 dollars for them um they fall apart very easily anyway so what's the point of spending that kind of money when your cat's just going to destroy it so this one's got a fun little bell on it and it's got some feathers okay, so we got some packaging some more packaging and more packaging. You've all seen this where people love to scare their toddlers. You're giving them anxiety. Even though, yes, I do love to scare small children, it's fun. Um, but when you're doing it to like an infant, it breaks my heart because they don't understand. Maybe don't scare the infants. That kind of bums me out when I see that. But oh, like when I do my follow-up videos, we'll throw some batteries in there. We got the base here. It's this thing, it's that thing. And I think they have another style too, like maybe it's wearing a hat, um, where this thing's supposed to repeat what you say and dance. You've all seen the videos, but I thought it'd be fun to play with. So we'll play with it later. You guys have all seen that wrap where like when you, when you have like a bandage, it's that stuff that doesn't stick to your skin, but it sticks to itself. So they had camo. So that was, I thought that'd be kind of cute. I wanted to grab some. Okay, okay, so this is also for your cat. It's a cute pillow. They have different colors. I think I'm only working with two cylinders here. Like they're not all firing. It's a cute little neck pillow. And I've seen like the video where the, the cat's like, will it actually? It might. Like if you have a cat that loves to cuddle, I don't know, maybe they have catnip in it maybe? Isn't that cute? A little white with the little cherries on it. So they had this for a penny. It was a penny. You could only get one. For a penny? It was a penny but you're only limited to one. So look at that. Got the little seal on there. 
seems like it would be a decent seal. Should we test it out to see how well it'll seal? But you see, like this is the type of stuff that we'll be doing like when we test the stuff to see how well, but it's not that big a deal. Like let's just play with this one for a second. Let's see how well of a seal we have. We put just a little bit of water in there. <laughs> Staying in? Nope, it's not. There it comes. Maybe just don't put liquids in it. It's still a good, it's still a decent container. Oh, you can still use it for other things. I just would maybe put liquids in it. This thing is super cute. Oh my God, my bangs just keep sticking to my lash glue. It drives me crazy. And if I could get it out of the packaging, I'll show you. We just have them like a little pig hanging from your rear view mirror. Or wherever you want to hang him. Put him wherever you want. It, he feels velvety, like very, very, very little velvety. So for drying my makeup sponges, um, I've discovered this thing. I think I bought one of these from Shein um, that I put my sponges in once I wash them and then I hang them from the shower curtain rod. Um, but I wanted another one and they had them at Timu. So I bought these, so I'll, like once I wash all my, my sponges, off, I just fill it up. So then you can have air getting to every part of it and then it, they can dry properly because you want to have that airflow. You want to make sure your sponges dry like thoroughly and properly so you don't get like things growing inside of your sponges. These are rags for, um, cleaning. They're super soft, you guys. It almost feels like like a thin blanket. But anyway, so you get a whole stack of them for cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think this is my kite. It's like what I was saying in my follow-up videos, we're gonna like test this stuff out. Are you guys jealous? Like I live out in the country, it's friggin' windy day. Today would, today's actually a good day to do it. Right off the bat, I love that you have like a storage bag for it that has Velcro on the end. Way to go, guys. Was that like the tail and you got lots of twine? Ooh, that's good, you got instructions on where to tie the twine. We'll test that out on my follow-up videos. We'll take that kite for a little spin out in the country air and see how well she holds up. Hey, as long as we're um, we're all just here and we're having fun, click like. Click the like button. Clicking the like button. Let's, I'm gonna educate you guys a little bit. Anytime you do anything on someone's video, okay, it helps that channel. So if you wanna ever like show support, always subscribe, like that always helps, like that helps the channel and then by clicking that like button to, by just clicking like on it it's helping to push the video out so other people can see it like if you really think about how many videos there are how many channels there are millions and millions of videos are out there right so trying to get my video out there for people to see it really really helps to get a like so if you just click like on there and then also comments do the same thing um make a comment comment thumbs up comment to heart comment the word comment by doing those things it helps show support to your favorite channels. So um, always make sure you do that, not just on mine, but on other people's channels and other people's videos that you watch. Like if you really like their content, click like, make a little comment, whether it's just a little heart or an emoji smiley face, like it all helps that channel. So just in case you didn't know. Oh, you guys, this, okay, you all know, <laughs> I love my acrylic organizers, I do. Okay, hold on, I need to hydrate. So they had this one, it was like a T2 
tiered one. We'll put this together when we do my follow-up videos. We'll try it out. So if you had like your bottles of perfume, you could do bottles of your foundations. And then it's like tiered and it goes up. You want to put it in your cabinet and put spices on it. I don't know, that might work. Oh yeah, tongs. I've bought in my tongs before from like Shan. These are actually really nice. The only problem I've ever had with some tongs is like the metal will break through like the rubber or the plastic or whatever this is. I think it's like a rubbery where it'll kind of, it'll crack and then that metal tip will start poking through. Then you can get moisture down in there and things, it gets weird. It gets weird very quickly. It's a cute like bonsai light tree. Got a cute little base and like a little got a power button. Turn on. I mean, obviously we have to shape this and like bend the branches and stuff. But oh, with that tongs for the kitchen, they also had like small little spatulas. I freaking love small little spatulas for like digging out what's in the bottom of a can. Because like if you put a full size spatula in like a can, you feel like cut the edges and stuff. So when you get like these little mini spatulas and you can use them for like smaller jobs, I love these. I have no idea what this is. Multifunctional makeup pen. What? Uh, what is this? Like a contour, you know, like what does that remind you of? Charlotte Tilbury? Hmm? Right? Should we just try? Let's just try this. I'm gonna try it really quick. Always make sure you turn that bad boy off. It starts out really dark. Um, kind of blends out into nothing. I'm gonna put a lot on there. I'm gonna regret that. I have a feeling. <laughs> I put too much on. All right, I need to wipe a little bit off. It feels greasy. It feels really like oily. Blends really, really nice. Like it blends really nice. It's not like super dry or anything. It's like the absolute complete opposite of that. Um, but it does feel very oily. And let's just give it a second to see if it'll set up. No, it just, this is oil. I'm gonna stick it off to the side. I might play with that a little bit more. Um, but for the back of my hand, it didn't do that great of a job, but it's also not made for the back of my hand, so. Okay, so then the rest of it is I've got some jewelry. So this necklace, it's like a big rhinestone. It is fairly big. Um, I wanna say it's a 24 inch. I wanna say maybe in the men's department I got this. So the rhinestones are quite a bit bigger, um, but I wanted to get different sizes because I have necklaces that are like this, but the stones are smaller, so I kind of wanted to get like a variety. So they had this bracelet. It's actually like, I wanna say it's the same size stones. Yeah, they go together, but I won't necessarily wear them together, but, um, but just for if you want to wear like multiple bracelets, I wanted to have some you know, bigger and smaller. So hopefully it's focusing, but this one is pretty cool because if you're able to see it, it's got tiny little rhinestones going all the way around. And then it's got, I can't tell if it's focusing, but one, it's like a, a row of tiny little rhinestones and then just a, a gold rope like intertwining with each other. Two different, same ring, I got the silver and then the gold. And then this one. It's pretty, that's just my wedding ring. It's a bunch of flowers, it's all these tiny little rhinestones. Like this, like nice, fun 3D one. All 
All right, guys, let's wrap it up here. It's always fun hanging out with you guys um, and sharing and showing you guys what I've got. Um, let me know down below what was your favorite thing I picked up. I'd love to hear that. Um, I do. This is the end of part four, and part five is on its way. Like we got, we got some more stuff coming, good stuff. And I'm trying to like get a variety of things. So let me know if there's something else you guys want me to pick up, or do you guys, you know let me know. I'm just gonna end it here and I'll see you guys on part five. I have other videos too. I'm not just doing Timos. Don't, don't panic. We got other stuff coming. I got a lot of good stuff. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!